Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com, and we're continuing our Getting Started with PDQ Products uh, web series, and this we're going to cover the collection library. Uh, the, this is a pretty powerful tool that just kind of, a lot of people might pass over, but it just kind of gives you a whole lot of uh, ways to track your data that you might not realize you had just at your fingertips built already. So if you come to the collection library, you can see these are all custom collections that we have built based on uh, software that we keep up to date, and there's some other ones, other ones outside of our deployment as well. But if you have software you're already deploying, like I think going to development kits was a bad idea for the example. But let's say you want to track Chrome Enterprise. You can see there we have those collections pre-built for you that goes in. You can find who has the latest, who doesn't have Chrome installed at all, and who's got an old version of Chrome. These are built by default, so you don't have to worry about any of that. It's just information that's in there. It is one that if you want to uh, copy this down so it's not buried in our collection library, you can just no problem at all. Just uh, we're going to try control C or duplicate right down there. Hit duplicate moves it down to the bottom. And here's the Chrome enterprise collection uh, outside of that library. So everything that's in there for any software that we track as it updates, we'll update the variable for you. Uh, if there's something that changes in the way that they do the, the collections or there's the computer name, we'll fix that for you. And it just tracks that. It gives you an idea of what computers have uh, some Pretty useful software right out of the gate. It's, uh, and another kind of lesser known feature, I don't know if this is getting started, but I'm going into it anyway because I'm in front of the camera, I'm the boss. Uh, if we go back to our Chrome of example, uh, if you're looking to build your own collection, you can come in and uh, use the examples we have to kind of use that as an idea to build your own collections if it's for software you don't have. So if we come to Chrome, you can see the default it has, just the application name Google Chrome, simple enough. Next one down is the latest, and this is where we start using some of our variables. You can see here, because uh, Google Chrome has both a three-part and a four-part version, depending on the install, so we have to count for both of those. We come in here as the app name is Chrome. Uh, the version is the version of Google Chrome Enterprise, and then there's also a regex query that we put in there for a variable that we defined. So you can see, to find the latest one, this is how we've done our collection. So if you're looking to build your own, you can come and look at that. You can use it kind of a, you know, as a, I guess, a, touchpad on what to use, or if you want to have a lot of fun with it, just do the alt insert, make a copy of it, and then you can come down and edit it as it exists. And so we'll just copy down there. You can make the ch all the changes there, make it a little bit easier to build your own uh, custom collections from that. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.